let's solve log equations that have subtraction. in. So again, if you looked at my one with addition, it's going to be very similar. The idea to solve a log equation is we have to change it into an exponential equation. But in order to do that, we need to write it as a single log first. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my property that says if I'm subtracting two logs at the same base, I can write it as a single log dividing the arguments. So I can write this as log base 3 of x plus 24 divided by x. And that's equal to 2. Now that I have it as a single log, I can change it exponential. So I take the base 3, that becomes the base of the exponential. 3 to the second power is equal to this x plus 24 over x. And now it's just an algebra problem. We know this is a 9. So I'm going to multiply both sides by x to get rid of that denominator. So I'm going to get 9x equals x plus 24. Now I don't have a fraction anymore. Well, I subtract x from both sides. So 9x minus x is 8x is 24. And then I just divide by 8. 24 divided by 8. Divided by 8, of course, is 3. That's my answer. Now, remember, with log equations, you have to always have to check to make sure that this isn't an extraneous solution. And by that, I mean it can't violate the domain of this equation. Remember, for logarithms, the domain is you can't take a log of negative numbers. You can't take a log of zero either. You can only take logs of positive numbers. So we have to make sure when I plug three in up here, it's positive. The argument's positive. Which it is. Obviously, if I plug the 3 in here, I get log base 3 of 27. That's okay. That, by the way, is 3. And log base 3 of 3, that's okay also. And notice 3 to what power is 3? Well, that's 1. So this really becomes 3 minus 1 is 2. So I've actually checked to make sure that's the right answer. And we can't always check it that easy to make sure it's the right answer. But we do at least have to check to make sure I'm not violating the domain of the log function. Okay. If I violate it, if it is not a positive number, the argument, if that's not positive, I have to throw it away. It's extraneous. I can't use that as a solution. It's not a solution. And so sometimes you'll get no solution for this. But you have to check. Again, remember, what's the key to solving log equations? Write it as a single log, change to exponential. All right, that's it. Again, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and let's just get some of this done.